Let me share my screen. All right. Uh, I hope you guys can see. Um, so this is like the last chapter of uh the GG Plot Two um book that we've been reading. Um, this chapter has been really been intense. I tried reading it all the way, but it was just. too intense for, for me um so this uh chapter it's like combining like the other previous two chapters chapter 19 and chapter 20 about how to ex make an extension on uh, gg plot to you so if you want to make your own custom uh geom path uh this is just like a case study on how to do that Uh, it says that there are five phases to develop your own um ggplot2 extensions. Um, it says first they start with it. You can start with an existing geom, um, path by pairing it with a stat. Um, and then the new stat allows to fix the diameter and tension. So the geom. that they're using or that we're going to create it's called spring uh not the season but uh i don't know like a spring rod, rod kind of like a slinky that's what we're creating and so uh the the diameter intention will determine how loose or how tight the spring will be and then um so this is a great start but um they're gonna convert it into a proper geom and uh geoms can only use that matches re relative to the data and they can be absolute sizes like two centimeters so the next We'll show how to draw a, a, a spring using a grid. And the fifth is that they're going to show you how to use um, custom, custom scaling in Legend Pair for the, for the genome. I, I haven't gotten that far uh, with the chapter. Uh, so, like, this first um, on 21.1, Um, the, we're, we're just talking about what is a spring, and so it just seems like a spring is basically a circle that's just like not completed, and this is the math of how to, yeah, this is the math of how to create a, a, a spring, so first it's circle, which is the basis of the spring, And then the actual spring is basically the circle, but you're kind of moving the circle uh, either left or, or right. Like it's basically a circle in, in motion. That's what they call it here. Um, and so uh, there are two like parameters into creating a spring, the diameter. So how big the circle is gonna be and then the tension and so how fast the, the the tension is gonna be so how many little corals that are gonna be in the in the spring um and so since and so creating a gg plot two extension since uh we know that a spring is basically a circle in motion uh we can just use uh The, the stat um object in order to create a new extension um uh, if this was like a complete, completely different shape then it would be a vice use geom but in this case in part one that they decided to use a uh, stat so uh using the gg gg proto objects uh Functionality to extend the G, G, G plot. 
Uh, and so, yeah, it's basically saying that, okay, we're going to create a, a stat uh, based on the circle geom. Um, and we're going to call that stat create spring. And so the strategy of using stat is just, um, like I said before, just using circle as your prototype and then using the math that is shown before to make like modifications from that prototype. And so uh, this is j just the arguments that we need. So uh, X and Y uh, argument, X and Y and a diameter that's used to determine the size of the circle and the, and the tension that's used to express like how many, you know, how the circle moves relative to the circle size. And so this this is the function. Uh, and then they created some test scenarios here of a, in case the user tries to get a tension that's less than zero or equal to zero, that means like there's no tension, so it's not really moving. It'll be like a circle. If the diameter is zero, then you know you can't create a circle. And if n is zero, then you have to abort. And so, yeah, this is just the equation of how to create a spring. So the length, the number of revolutions, so the number of times you'll see um, the other springs that are that will be created and et cetera. And so this is your, this is our stat with the parameters and then spring geopath the x and y and coordinate equal so this is how they created the, the spring and so in order to create the stat um, you need to use uh the gg proto um function um in order it's it's um uh, I don't really understand what the gg proto is about I think it has something to do with object oriented programming which is uh <laughs> I know a little bit but not that much when it comes to R in general, our programming. So, yeah. So right here, we're creating a prototype uh, using using a stat, and this we're calling it stat spring. So we're basically making a, another class called stat spring. And then um, these are all the the parameters of the GG prototype object. So uh you you probably have seen this with other genomes, like the statics, um the how to compute the layer um parameters, how to how to set up the data and how to set up the params. And so uh it says that you can modify most of these, but don't touch the statics and and the parameters. Um, and then for you know for the methods, like the the functions that we created, the math functions that we created to in order to create the spring, uh, we're gonna need to specify the setup data and the com compute panel. Um. And so this is the code here. Uh, I don't really know how to decipher this, but this is what they, they use. Uh, guessing setup data is just whatever data that the user is going to give us. Um, like you need a CSV object. Um, 
There you go. And then the control panel, I guess this is how you create this, the parameters that you need to create the screen. And then they bind it to C path, that's the spring path, which we, we defined, uh, I guess they didn't define it, but yeah, this is, this is a lot, and th this is as far as I've gotten to read um through this. So I'm gonna stop sharing right now. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for this chapter. Uh, it was a really hard chapter. Um, to walk through. Um.